Oh, folks, it is the 1st of July, and that means two things. Thing number one, it's only 10 days until my birthday. Get your happy birthday comments messages ready for 10 days' time. But arguably more important, it means, of course, it's new LEGO Day. It's not as big as some of the new, as some of the new release days we've had recently, but there are still new sets to be had. That's the LEGO store behind me. Let's go and have a look to see what they've got. And right there in the window, we have one of the new releases of the day the Lamborghini Countach, which of course we've had previously as a speed champion, but it's now out as a uh, big snazzy set. And I guess off the back of that, they're also going to promote some of the other cars as well. So we've got the, uh, the McLaren and whatever that is at the back, the Mercedes AMG. I'm not really a car guy, but there you go. We have cars in the window. And they've also got a Speed Champions Formula One make and take home thing coming up soon as well. And then in the other window, we have the other big new release of the day, which is Bumblebee. And he, of course, is in the window alongside the Optimus Prime that we had last year, I want to say. Um, but yeah, Bumblebee, a little bit smaller than Optimus Prime, but still a very, very cool set. And of course, they are still pushing Barad door in the window there as well. We don't have a huge number of uh, gifts with purchase. It's just this one available at the moment on a £75 or more spend, which I don't know that I'm actually going to spend. I do kind of want a Bumblebee set, but I know there's a new gift with purchase coming, so I might be waiting for that one. So as you would expect, we've got Optimus Prime back out on the shelves as well as part of Transformers being a bit of a push with the Bumblebee sets. We've got Bumblebee up there. We have the dragon actually posed on, uh, on the castle as well, which I'm looking for strings attached. They've actually managed to pose him, which is very impressive, especially when his front legs barely look like they're touching. I don't know how they've managed that. And of course, we still have lots of the stuff that was out on the 1st of June that is still being pushed in here. My original plan was not buy it all in June. So there is stuff that's kind of on my radar. The Retro Radio definitely being one. The Tuxedo Cat is a set we still haven't picked up. I really like the look of this Family Reunion set as well, which is something we might be taking the plunge on in the near future. I know there are some new Builder Mini Figs out today as well, which I'm trying to see if I can see them on there. The one I'm particularly looking for is the Lego Store employee, because I've recently added a Lego Store to my Lego City, and we need some employees in there. But have to have a proper image. I can't see them immediately in there. We'll have a proper look in a minute. That's another set that I keep meaning to pick up because I think that retires this year and does look very cool. Definitely a nostalgic set for me, more so than all of the other Sonic stuff. I really just want that one as a display thing for my office wall. And then we've got quite a Quite a Minecraft display going on in here as well at the moment. There you go, I've just had a member of staff help me. We have got the new Lego store builder minifig bits. So we'll get some of those in a second. Um, but we've got Star Wars bits and bobs over here as well. There's nothing new in Star Wars today, but I know you like get upset if you don't get to see it. So there's your Star Wars bits and bobs. We do have a new Brickheads today though. So we'll be picking that one up. The new Iron Man Brickheads which I think is the only new thing in superhero stuff today. I mean, there's a lot coming out on the 1st of August in the superhero line. And then we'll just look longingly at that like we always do. And then we've got some car themed bits on the, uh, on the picker brick wall. So definitely pushing cars at the moment. We've got some steering wheels. We've got some little gear sticks. So that's quite cool. In fact, there's lots of car stuff scattered around on the wall for this car build and take home event that they're going to be doing. So if you are looking to build some cars, now is a good time to hit up the pick -a brick wall for sure. There's more down there as well. So new car themed pick -a brick is a thing. And then in the three and one stuff, I don't think there is anything new in here. Obviously still got the newer stuff that came out recently on here. Likewise with the Ninjago and Lego City. Of course, we had a big month for Lego City last month, so wouldn't expect to see anything new on here either. But they have got some of the newer sets on display, which is very cool. And then we've got more of the racing themed stuff. 
So it's definitely a big push towards cars swerving away from space, which was the big push for last month. It is all about the cars this month, it seems. They've got the, uh, the little track build and take away area set up as well for that. And then into Harry Potter, Disney, we've got another little car thing here for the racing promo that they've got going on. And that's where you've got all your little parts to build together and race together, which is it's pretty cool. They're certainly making a big fuss about it. And then this set is one that I like. I think this came out last month, or is that new today as well? I'm not even sure. But it does look really cool. I don't know that there's a space for it in my city, but it is a cool looking set. I and mean, there's a few other Lego Friends things which are, are labelled as new. So I guess they are new. I'm so out of touch with the Lego Friends line. But I don't think I've seen that one before either. So there's a few bits in this range. And then again, lots more cars. Lots of... I need to examine the, uh, the G-Wagon to see how the top of that fits on, because mine just kind of rests on and falls off. That one definitely is put together properly. I've done something wrong on mine, and the, the roof falls off, so I think I need to do a little bit of a rebuild on mine. And there we have a bag full of stuff. I'll show you what I got when I got home. Um, mostly pick a brick just to get me up to the gift with purchase amount because I do quite like the, the little firework set. Um, but we've got a few other bits as well. So I'll show you it when we get back. And I am back home. So let's have a little look through my goodies. Um, I got the gift with purchase. Um, £75 spend to get to that, so I think I spent like £76, um, but that is the new fireworks celebration, which I guess is out because of 4th of July in America, but it will be a fun thing to have knocking around the city, a little bit of a fireworks display, and um, so we've got one of those. Um, I had to buy this for £6.99 to get me over the, the threshold to get me to the gift with purchase, so I effectively got these two for £6.99, that's how I'm... Uh, that's how I'm phrasing that and this is a silly little thing that i've had my eyes on for a while i just think he's cute and uh it'll be a fun one to build on stream and then the only one of today's new releases that i got was the new iron man brickheads which is very very cool and can go on my ever expanding brickheads shelf and i did also get the um the new Lego store employee showed him many things, had to ask for help because couldn't find them because I don't like rooting through the build of anything. They didn't have any pre-made, um, but somebody came over, helped me out with them. So uh, this is this is the figure. So obviously I've put my own head and hair on there, which is why he's got an excellent mustache. So the Lego logo on the back and you can see the tiny little Lego logo on the, oh, it's not even a Lego logo, is it? It's the name badge is the, it's a tiny little name badge on the chest of the shirt and then the Lego logo on the back. It's just plain black trousers. And the accessory to go with it is the little uh, little card reader machine. So I got myself three Lego store employees to work in the Lego store behind me, a couple of the card readers, and then with my th third accessory, I got a little doggy. Cause you know, can't go wrong with a little doggy. And then everything else I brought was pick a brick and it's the least interesting pick a brick in the history of the world. I got three identical boxes, so I'll only open one of them up. Um, I'll leave the other two sealed for now, but all three of them have exactly the same bricks and quantity in. Um, it's just a load of this, uh, what's that? Two by six gray brick, um, three absolutely crammed boxes of that because I have finally made a start on the city walls. And I say make a start, and it is own very much a start. We've got that one, and then this one that's collapsed because I was trying to do it with two by twos. Um, so we're definitely gonna be making use of all of that gray brick to work on those city walls as part of the uh, the next project. And in fact, on that topic, Lego City update coming soon, because there is, there is more to show you. As you can see, we've got developments here as well. There's more stuff over there. There is going to be a LEGO City update coming very, very soon. But that's uh, that's it for new release day. A very low-key one. I mean, I remember saying a month ago that there wasn't anything at all coming the 1st of July. So the fact that we ended up with a few bits coming out, I think, is... Uh, is fine. There's the bits that came out on the 1st of June that we're still looking to get that I identified in the shop. And 
I would have bought Bumblebee if it wasn't for the fact that there's a better gift with purchase coming out, I think the 9th of July, um, which we are deliberately waiting for. It's the latest in the little shops of the world. Uh, mini modular series that Anna absolutely loves. And I think for that one, it's something like 150 pound minimum spend for that. And we'd quite like to get two of those. So when the uh, when the time comes, we'll just do an online order, I guess. I think it's actually while we're away on holiday, but we'll place a, an online order, get the Bumblebee, which Anna definitely wants. Um, I've had my eye on the Home Alone house for a Christmas thing uh, so I think we'll probably pick one of those up as well and then maybe get one of those other first of June things that we haven't yet got like the um like the tuxedo cap like the retro radio we didn't want to get any of that stuff today because this gift with purchase although it's fine isn't that exciting and we definitely want the uh, the one that's coming up in about a week's time so we're we're keeping our powder dry for now let me know down in the comments what you got in your first of july haul or what you're most looking forward to getting and uh we'll do this all again this time next month when we'll be spending a little bit more money on the first of august because we know we've got um as a minimum the new tram which is definitely going to be going in the city there's a load of new marvel stuff and there's bit other bits and bobs coming out as always well. that do we get the new Batman Brickheads then, maybe? And then 1st of September, we've got all the advent calendars amongst other stuff. So the next couple of launch days are going to be big ones. It was nice to have a slower, less spendy month, especially as we are going on holiday in a week or so. And it's uh, it's handy to be able to save the money for that too. So if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for loads more LEGO content, including that LEGO City update, which will be in just a couple of days. And thank you very much for watching.